Hi, I'm Mary. You may have heard that we'll no longer be making the B1 and B2 Optimux brain boards, but don't panic. The E1 and E2 brain boards are drop-in replacements, and they give you more options moving forward. Let's take a look. Here, I have a couple of B1s controlled through a serial connection. They're receiving and responding to Optimux commands to make this pattern. Here I have my drop-in replacement E1. Notice how the jumpers I've put in the same location as the B1, and the communications connector is in the same spot too. So now I'm ready to power down the rack, disconnect the wires, disconnect the brain. Now I'll reconnect the wires on the E1. Careful to double check that the wires and jumpers are all in the same place. Now I'll just power it back up. There, I'm up and running again and it's just that easy. For your analog B2 boards, the process is similar, but even easier since the communication wires are on the rack. So you've upgraded your Optimux brains and everything is running the same as it was. Now you can consider other options with the new brains thanks to this ethernet jack. Because your Optimux brain might be connected to a PC running a no longer supported version of Windows. And because you may want to connect your Optimux system to a snap pack system, or a Modbus, or maybe even use OPC. With the E1s and E2s, you can do this through the Ethernet connection. You can even use both Optimux over serial and Optimux over Ethernet, and use multiple protocols all at the same time. So you'll have lots of options. Check out Form 1567, the E1-E2 Migration Overview, for more information. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.